up guys welcome back to another episode of marvel card collecting and investing with me ginger man cards in today's episode we're going to check out the top 10 marvel card sales from last week let's get straight into this week's marvel cards baby <laughs> Alrighty, in at number 10 this week we have a 2019 Marvel Premium Red of Venom, numbered out of 30 in a PSA 8 slab, which is a pop one. This went for $346, 25 bids confirmed as paid. And I do like the artwork on this one in particular, and I also like Premier cards in general, I have a few myself, and the colour matching really does it for me personally. Um, it was interesting to see, I was at the Dallas Card Show at the weekend, which hopefully I'll do a separate recap of uh, shortly to see some of the sellers actually with these Marvel Premier cards, uh, predominantly sports card sellers. Um, so that was interesting. Their prices range from 200 to 350, depending on character. I tried to film as much as possible, but some I did not show. Uh, but yeah, interesting to see that one in at number 10 this week. In at number nine, uh, 2014 Marvel Universe, uh, by Rittenhouse. This is a Spider-Man PSA 10. This went for 1,000. $213 nine bids and I'm going to show you a couple more actually. Uh, just a reminder the Rittenhouse boxes of this set in particular are numbered out of 7,200 so just one thing to consider. This is just a base card, I say just a base card. They're pretty hard to grade from the ones I have I would say there's nothing that I have which is over a nine um, so yeah to get ten I would imagine it's pretty difficult especially with the, the surface in particular on these ones. The next one Exactly the same, but this is the Sapphire. So the Sapphire um, is one in every eight packs rather than the base. Uh, and this went for $1,325.15 bits, which is insane. And then the other version, okay, there's three versions of Spider-Man in the set. This went for 1113 17 bids confirmed as paid. And then finally, <laughs> we had the other version, uh, and this is the base, the one I just showed you was the base. This went for $233 <laughs> in a PSA 10. Uh, I would love to get your thoughts down in the comments as always. Uh, it's always great to see your, uh, what you're thinking. But yeah, why did this one go for so much less than the others? It is a bit funky in the, in the way it looks, I have to say. Um, <laughs> but I just found it quite funny, the difference between them. Nevertheless, some strong sales there in at number nine this week. In at number eight. I mean, of course, there's got to be some Spider-Man metal somewhere, right? <laughs> there may be a few. This is a platinum portrait of Green Goblin. This went for $1,299. And it's super interesting because the Spider-Man platinum portrait has just been pulled by Cherry Collectibles on Instagram. Um, Australian guy. Uh, they have an Australian shop. He collects quite a bit of Marvel cards, actually, if you haven't checked him out. Uh, do, please do so. But yeah, it looks super. Herb, I have to say, and uh, yeah, people, a couple of people were asking me to put a price on that. I really don't know. I, uh, I mean, if a Venom went for one thousand two hundred, you know, we're talking about top tier characters. I would imagine five to ten k. I don't know. I'm throwing a number out there, completely speculative, but yeah, really nice card to see and uh, really hard to pull. So nice card there in at number eight. In at number seven, we got a sketch card, and this one's from. Ash Gonzalez, who seems to be gaining uh, big pop popularity, actually. This went for 1,650 uh, Canadian dollars, and I thought this was superb. And this is from Marvel Annual, 2020 Marvel Annual, but oh, I just thought it was so cool. The black with the red, for me, winner, winner, chicken dinner. And again, there are certain sketch cards that really catch my eye, uh, and this one was definitely, uh, definitely one of them. In at number seven. In at number six, X Men Metal. A couple of things popping on X Men Metal. Um, this was a Wolverine PMG numbered out of 100 in a PSA 9 slab, so solid grade. This went for $2,025, 14 bids, which actually I thought was a, a really good price. And again, <laughs> some of you out there be like, what are you talking about? But for who it is, you know. Um, X-Men Metal is a really nice set I thought that was a decent price a lot of people are looking at Spider-Man Metal and all about Spider-Man Metal right now and there are some things where I'm going to show an example at the end from my bargain basement card of the week but 
you can pick some nice stuff up for a really good price, in my humble opinion. In at number five, 1990 Marvel Universe. The set collecting seems to continue. Maybe this is someone new. I don't know. But this is a Red Skull PSA 10. This went for $2,025, which outpaces all of the other cards that ended at the same time by a mile. And there were some other bigger characters. Um, in terms of the population report for this card, there are 18 PSA 10s. The population for the set now, which I mentioned, I think, last week, approaching 50,000. It's now at 51,000. 153 so almost a thousand cards graded in this set in a week and i don't think that will stop uh anytime soon well and in the near future anyway but yeah big big card uh big price for this card but i do think it is a set collectors going after the full psa 10 set once again uh, and this is not one i've seen pop up often on ebay again could be other places PD pwcc uh, and other places interesting in at number five, another Peach Momoko card. And this is from the 2020 Marvel Annual. But this is another sketch by Peach Momoko. 44 bids. $3,050, which is where it's been at for most of the Peach Momoko sketches. I would imagine there's one person buying these uh, and then, you know, yeah, grabbing a whole collection. Uh, seems smart, but that's <laughs> that's a lot of money. And uh, But Peach Momoko... Really nice looking card, I have to say. You see the signature on the back there. Yeah, respect, respect for that one. In at number three this week, we have a one of one. And this is from the 2020 X-Men Metal set. And it is of Dark Phoenix. And our good friend, I hope he doesn't mind me giving him a shout out, Spidey Hits. I believe he got this card for his monster Dark Phoenix collection which is just insane. Uh, so yeah, 16 bids, $3,383. And it is a banger. Look at this. One of one on the back there. Very, very, very nice. Congratulations, my friend. What a collection. Beast. Love it. In the number two, we have another 2021 Spider-Man Metal card. And it is of silk. And it's a green PMG. Numbered out of 10, of course. This went for $3,555, confirmed as paid, 27 bids. And the greens have been popping recently. Some really nice characters being pulled on EPAC from uh, the Facebook group, from what I could see today, which is insane. I think there was a Venom that I saw, which is a big card. Uh, but yeah, really, really nice. Silk is definitely one of those characters that are sought after by many, many collectors. You can see a 3 of 10, and definitely commanding a really, really strong price once again. And again, it is a PMG. Beautiful. And then finally, in the number one this week is a 2015 Fear Retro Spider-Man PMG Blue in a BGS 9 slab, numbered out of 50. Now, this has not been paid for just yet, just to put that out there. Um, but I thought the price was fascinating and maybe an example of what I was talking about earlier in terms of there are some steals to be had. I personally think this is a steal. Again, I do not have this kind of money. Would I spend this kind of money? <laughs> if I had that kind of money, <laughs> I don't know. But $9,350, 34 bids. This is a blue Spidey. Only 50 of them in the world. Really strong grade. Under 10K. And I'm thinking long, long, long term here. Like 10, 10 years plus. But I think that's a great, a great deal in my personal opinion. Just for some context. Um, back in May... A BGS 9 sold for 16,000 with gold in and 19,200 with the buyer's premium. And then another BGS 9 also sold for 10,000, so 12,000 with the buyer's premium. And that was in May, so not so long ago, but there were thereabouts in terms of pricing on the last one in particular. I was looking at the subgrades and there really wasn't much difference. I think that one of them had a better um, surface and that may have swayed it higher but yeah interesting and there's been a couple of cards on pwcc that i haven't even mentioned in some of my episodes uh that have been way way lower than i would imagine and definitely uh definitely something <laughs> to consider picking up if you're in the hunt for some really nice uh you know low numbered serial numbered cards but 
Just my opinion as always. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Alrighty, it's time for Bargain Basement Card of the Week. And I believe the card I've chosen is an absolute steal, in my personal opinion. This is a 2018 Marvel Masterpieces Daredevil Auto by Simone Bianchi, numbered out of 10 in a PSA 8 slab. This went for $250 confirmed as paid. And I'll just show you the back of the card, just confirm 6 of 10. 2018 Marvel Masterpieces, a really nice premium set. The artwork's so beautiful, vibrant. Simone Bianchi, really well known. Most people love his stuff. And it's Daredevil, a great character, strong character. Lots of exciting projects coming up. A character that's going to be in the public eye for, you know, the foreseeable. Very well known. And a low number out of 10 for $250. I think that's a great buy. Winner, winner, chicken dinner in my eyes. Okay, and finally, I thought I'd head over to our most favourite website in the world right now. Upper Deck Epac, where it's going down, but not for the right reasons, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and I want to go over the achievements that are in the Spider-Man Metal, just released on Epac. And obviously, I need to touch on pricing, which uh, everyone has been talking about. And I give my two cents. Not that you asked for it, but uh, here we are. <laughs> um, so, yes, it is more expensive than I would have liked. It is frustrating. Um and I just really, really, really hope, more than anything, you know, it is what it is, and here we are, that Upper Deck listen to the feedback for future releases, future product, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Because I do not want new collectors to be put off by some of these prices. That is a thing that really annoys me. Marvel cards are special. That's my take on it. And yeah, I, I do get everyone's frustration. But yeah, as I said, let's hope they listen and take in the feedback. That's the most important thing. Um, so the achievements. So like X-Men Metal, very, very, very similar setup. Almost too similar in a way, but I get it. Uh, you've got 16-piece puzzle achievement. Uh, first five collectors to redeem the gold billions, which we'll go over in a second. Achievements five to eight, four cards. Five of those available. 35 of the 16-piece tier two. One randomly awarded, one randomly awarded. You can see there the progress I've made because I haven't bought any boxes yet. <laughs> uh, but I will. Gold bullion, Peter Parker. So you have to redeem a complete light FX gold parallel set, 200 cards. For that one, the uh, achievement number two, Dr. Ock. Complete palladium set, 49 cards. Venom. Complete metal, uh, platinum, planet metal set. Uh, so 20 cards there again. Mary Jane, a complete grandiose set, which is insane for a Mary Jane, in my opinion. Like, I get it, but not for that character. Um, Aunt May, complete a grandiose parallel high series set. 100 cards again. Don't understand that. And then Green Goblin, redeem a complete Daily Bugle headline set, which is 25 cards. And then seven is retro animated series set of 18 cards. And then the Rogues Gallery. Uh, oh, by the way, that's Wilson Fisk. And then the Rogues Gallery, 24 cards for Gwen Stacy. And then we have the printing plates booklet achievement. One randomly awarded. First 199 collectors to redeem gold balloon achievements. One to four. Four cards. Uh, we'll get that. And I'll just show you because they look pretty cool. So you've got Agent Venom, AI. Alistair Smythe, Ant-Man, Anya, Aunt May, Beast, Ben Parker, Black Cat, Black Bolt, Black Panther, Black Trencher, so on, so on, so on, so on. Um, and then obviously Wolverine, as you can see there at the end, which is pretty cool. So, will this be similar to X-Men Metal? I really can't tell. I don't know. I'm hearing a lot of people put off by the price, obviously, and they're not going after... Uh, as much and will many people go after these achievements I really don't know again I'll just show you actually the Peter Parker there the gold balloon so yeah we will find out but there you are the achievements I'll link it down in the description for you guys hopefully you probably already know that by now um, but as always hope you've got some value from this episode it's a crazy week in the Marvel card land but I love it either way 
and um, hope you have a good week and remember marvel cards baby peace